Okay, hello, welcome back to Zonic TV. I'm Andrew Weir, and today we're going to look at some advanced camera movement and animation, uh, as well as like positioning uh, of the renders and how we can get some advanced uh, scenes inside Blender. And that's going to include moving the camera around mostly, so we don't need anything actually in the scene. Uh, you've probably got a scene up at the moment and you're searching a bit about cameras or you're a subscriber. And it's going to be incredibly useful uh, because there's several ways to move the camera and I'm just going to look at them all. I'm going to show you how I would set up a scene, how I would move the camera just to get the right render and the right render position. And uh, hopefully you'll learn some new stuff. So, we've got the basic positions which we start off with. And we can either delete that and get a new camera that will be facing downwards or we could just press Alt and Rotation, so Alt R, and I'm just going to turn on screencast keys so you know what I'm pressing. I'll make it a more visible colour. And yeah, so Alt R will set the rotation back to that point, where then we can rotate it on the x-axis if we really wanted to. And we get a straight on view, uh, maybe type in 90, and that means that we've got a perfectly uh, forward view. If we needed that, that's a really quick, easy way to set that up. And then, of course, if it's not quite at that angle, maybe we'll just rotate on the z-axis, pressing R and then Z. And there you go. Um, so that's fairly basic. That's the most basic way to set up a scene. Um, or if we maybe want it back at the start position, I may as well tell you as well. You can press Alt G. Alt G being for grab. Uh, and Alt. S, Alt G, Alt R, they're basically the three things we can use that for, and I'll just put it back to the uh, center position if, if you want to use that on any of the shapes, uh, as well as the center, or how they originally started in the in the scene. Uh, so that's quite useful. Um, but there's a it gets a little bit more advanced than that, and we're going to look at the fun one straight away. And basically, uh, I'm just going to press 0 on the number pad, we can get into the screen here. We can press G and just move this around. For instance, I want to move down there. I can move around like this. Uh, you can also rotate from here like that, uh, which can be useful to get some cool scenes. But uh, I'm going to press uh, I'm going to press Shift F uh, in the camera view, and we'll come up with this little box here. Which, if we go outside of the box, pointing in any direction. And we'll start to rotate like that, which you can immediately see if that were an animation and we were following the look of like a ball falling, uh, let's just say as an example, and we followed it like that, that'd be quite a nice little movement to follow it. Uh, and that's already some good animation. Uh, but I'll undo that, we'll press Shift F again, and I'm going to look down here at the cube really easily. There we go, I've got the cube in my screen. And then let's say I want to move further away or I want to move forwards, we can scroll the, the uh, mouse wheel. And the faster we scroll, the faster we'll move. And then even while we're scrolling, we can turn this around. So it's going to keep moving like that. We can make a little turn, get the animation that we want, uh, maybe follow the thing we want to follow, and turn and pick this by cl uh, clicking. Uh, and of course, when you're actually using Shift F, you can scroll backwards as well. Uh, and it's just a good way to get some advanced camera movement in there. Um, so that's quite useful. And then there's the obvious uh, top view, which will allow you to move it a little bit more accurately there. Um, and also pressing G to grab, and maybe grabbing it on the Z axis, but then pressing Z again and moving it on the local Z axis which means we're moving it straight forwards and straight backwards, just uh, how it is. That works for the y-axis and x-axis as well, so I press G. I want to move it uh, left or right. I'm going to press X. Obviously, I'm not moving it directly left and right, so I'm going to press X again. And now I'm moving it on the local x-axis. Useful, uh, as I say. And then the final thing that I want to look at at the end of this video, uh, which is coming up very soon, we're just going to add a curve, so I hope you've seen curves uh, curves before. I'm going to add a path, and I haven't used these in quite a while, so just excuse me if I make a mistake. Uh, but if I drag this over here, I move this up here, drag this down here, move this one over there, 
and basically I'm just making a curve and I'm going to make it a little bit more advanced than that by bringing it up there and I, you, we can see the main path in the middle is what we're actually following so I'm going to go to object mode and that's the path that the camera's going to follow obviously I've moved it on the up z-axis but we could move it on the y or anything uh, this is just an example and I'm not too sure which way I need to parent these around but we select both of them so I'm going to press Control p uh, parent and we're going to go to object uh, curve deform oh no follow path and basically when I press play now in the animation it's going to move along the curve like we just made so I hope you learned a little bit about camera movement there and I hope to see you in the next video bye for now